video we will talk about cat arithmetic syllabus and some of the important topics that you have to focus on uh, in the arithmetic uh, syllabus right so let's start with the first part here it says that 40 percent questions in cat exams when we say cat exam we 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 talk about the arithmetic section particularly so 40 percent questions in cat quantitative aptitude section come from arithmetic questions are purely formula based so this could be one of the i shouldn't say the easiest section but one of the most doable question because all of us can relate uh, to arithmetic because some this is something that we all started our uh, you know mathematics uh, school mathematics with right so questions are purely uh, based on formula and shortcut tricks are very handy to save time so when you are doing questions on arithmetic, you have to focus on some of the important formulas and concepts and you, ha you also have to focus on uh, the shortcut tricks by which you can quickly arrive at the answer in lesser time. Further, what do we have in the syllabus now? The first thing is percentages and simple interest and compound interest. Very, very important because many, many, many questions even in LRDI will have percentages simple interest and compound interest in them so this is this is something that you have to focus on a lot then there is profit loss and discount so profit loss discount shares and partnership all these are very important and this come under these come under one category that is profit loss and discount then we have the averages mixtures and allegations so averages is one topic and mixture and allegation is the other topic in which two different things are mixed and you have to find some some kind of proportion and ratio of those things so sometimes the concepts would be uh, intertwined in the sense that percentages and profit loss might come together or profit loss and mixture allegation also might come together so these are not tested independently they might uh, be intertwined in some of the questions and mixed concepts might be used uh, by you to solve the questions further we have ratio proportion which is a very very important part of arithmetic then you have time and work and pipes and systems time and work basically means uh, people doing work together and you know how much time how much work can be done similarly pipes and cisterns so if you're filling let's say a tank with the help of a pipe and there is inlet pipe there is outlet pipe so all those varieties of questions will come under the heading pipes and cisterns further one of the classic uh, questions uh, which is a part of cat uh, arithmetic is time speed and distance it has always been there and will always be there so you can expect questions from time speed and distance from time and work pipes and cisterns ratio and proportion mixtures and allegation profit and loss in fact one or two questions will come from all topics even circular races you know people running in a circle around the circular track in in one direction opposite direction all these kind of questions come in circular races and then you have clocks and calendars not very much seen in cat exam but in some of the non cat exams you might come across clocks and calendars then concepts tested elementary formulas and concepts are tested elementary basically means how to find profit how to find loss how to find profit percentage how to find loss percentage percentages increases on what and decreases on what you know all these things are very important so again percentage change false weight concepts of installments these are some of the things that you have to keep in mind ratio of two or more elements to prepare desired mixture so if you are let's say mixing uh, milk with water then in what ratio and then the question comes how much profit how much loss is incurred by the milkman all this kind of you know very simple rudimentary aptitude questions that you come across in almost all the exams then you have simple concepts of average and weighted average is very very important average and weighted average concepts are always there then you have formula based problems from ratio proportion and partnership so uh, there are there are questions on ratio proportion purely formula based and very much uh, you know run of the mill kind of questions so concepts of work equivalence you have to keep this in mind because it's it's a part of, it's a part of time and work so work equivalence is very important the lcm method and then further you have problems on linear and circular races with two or more moving objects so when we talk about these concepts these are some of the basic concepts that you would be using to arrive at the answers of the questions then what should be the plan of for beginners follow the following order this is this 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 order is very important and will help you go through sail through this section elementary concepts percentages ratio and proportion averages and these elementary concepts you should be thorough with percentages in fact you should be able to say quickly that if you have scored x marks and if your marks have gone down by 25 percent then what is your new score or similarly let's say if uh, india scores 
let's say XYZ runs in the first test match in Sydney, then in the next test, if the score comes down by this average or by that average, you know, all those things which helps you quickly arrive at the answer. So elementary concepts are percentages, ratio proportion, averages. Solve simple and problems based uh, on these topics to understand the application of formula and interlinking of the concepts. Very, very important. Further, we have allied concepts. So what is allied concepts? You have to understand how percentages are connected with ratio. How how uh, mixture problems, you know, when you look at the questions, for example, if two, if, if you have uh, 2 kg of rice worth rupees 30 and then you have uh, uh, you have uh, four kgs of rice worth rupees 60 and if you mix them together and you sell them then what kind of uh, rate should you put to ensure that there is no loss or there is profit of 20 percent so what you're using here is not just the, cons uh, the the idea of mixture and allegation but also the idea of how ratio and percentages might come into picture to decide profit and loss so allied concepts are very important and secondly hcf and lcm must be you must be very very good with hcf and lcm particularly for questions on time and work and time speed and distance and then further shortcut formulas for time speed distance because very important otherwise time speed distance questions will take a hell lot of time so shortcut formulas are very important and then you must use trick ratio you must use the uh, tricks of how ratio can be used to solve problems on profit loss and discount so once you start solving the questions along with the basic concepts you will learn all these tricks and techniques and you should be solving ample number of questions to apply multiple concepts and tricks and manipulations and finally you will become good with this topic so good that you can definitely say that out of out of uh, around 40 percent of the questions i can definitely get around 30 25 percent questions correct so this section could basically uh, fetch you the entire cutoff for the quant section